Today we're out just for a good old Sunday ride, get some fresh air and stuff. He's out playing around today on the bike. Old man just got his new gummy on, so he's trying that out for the first time. So now we are both rocking the same Dunlop AT81EX in a 110-100 on the rear end in there, and it's freaking awesome. Now next on the list for me is a front tire, man. We're still rocking the same old Dodd approved street tire. It's a Shinko 216, does not cut it. Thing does not have good grip whatsoever and is not confidence inspiring. So we definitely want to put a gummy front on ASAP. So today we are out for our dirt church Sunday. We're just going for a nice freaking ride out today. It's a beautiful day out to be riding, even though it's uh, November and uh, she's a little cold and nipply. It's actually pretty perfect for an enduro rider just because it helps you keep that sweat cool and your body temperature down and you're in good shape and keep rock and rolling. Yeah. <laughs> close to 90 hours on the beta cross trainer already there are some things that have been popping up in the last couple rides here that i've been starting to notice that i'm not totally in love with on the bike and that is definitely going to be that suspension is just starting to not cut it anymore uh, especially in some of the faster sections when i'm trying to keep up with the boys it just starts piling up pretty bad and uh, it's washing out a lot in the front and just not confidence inspiring front end feel especially as you start getting a little bit quicker into the trails and hitting stuff more aggressively it just feels like the suspension just piles up and wants to bottom out a lot and it's uh, very harsh and feels like it just throws you all over the place on the bike so that's something I definitely want to look into upgrading and I'm not sure which exact kit I want to go with yet so I think I gotta still do a little bit more research about that if any of you guys have uh, cross trainers and you've done some suspension swapping mods and if you care to share them down below in the comments section I'd love to see that and I'd be very curious to see uh, what you guys have done to your beta cross trainers to make them feel a little bit better when you're hitting stuff more aggressively oh it's toasty that's the one thing with fall riding is you're always dressed up because you're getting soaked but it doesn't change the fact you're still using a lot of effort and energy and getting really hot <sighs> this like new little section of flow trail never seen before this was really fun this is a cool trail okay silly idea i'm not really too sure why i decided to go up this one once i seen how thick i was I'm like, i'll just keep going and it just kept going and it was full of freaking bush and i was soaked by the end of it let's do these <laughs> pants up it's a little wet in here <laughs> I, go right, car, I, go. I think it's this way i can hear air in there somewhere Oh, it's a river today. And a little bushy. Oh, 
little wet, not too bad. Oh, today has been a fun freaking day. Been enjoying the heck out of this. It's always just so fun to get out on the bikes. So from what I can tell, I'm either thinking like going with Aaron at AMP to get some suspension done. I've also seen the DFX kit a lot of guys trying and saying really good things about. So I'm contemplating that. I don't think I want to go full KYB suspension swap because that just ends up being thousands and thousands of dollars and it gets really expensive really quickly. So, so far from what I can tell, the DFX kit looks to be the most affordable at around $700 Canadian for the parts. And that I can chalk up to pay for a front and rear suspension upgrade. So something to think about. Whoa! Looks like this won't be here much longer. One thing about that fall wintertime type riding is you always have a ton of tree fall and then all these leaves on the ground make it so deceiving you can't see that big nugget that's sticking out and it's covered in leaves and you might just freaking jam right into it so you just gotta pay attention a lot and watch out for eye pokies and neck pokies and things that'll take your head off so it's good times always fun but definitely adds that added bit of challenge of just unknown when you're out there riding in the fall and winter time <laughs> Yeah, kick me this way. I know this is all slippery as hell too. One more. 
Yep. the type of obstacle there where that trees across the road on a diagonal that I just do not have any confidence in that front tire. Whew. Holy smokes. Oh, that was freaking awesome, boys. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Make sure to down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.